Hello there, I'm your host Dan Rojas, and I have an 80 watt solar panel here. This is the monocrystalline cell, polycrystalline and multicrystalline cells, all basically are put together the same way. This is attached directly to a very special inverter. This is a grid tied inverter. This is not the same type of inverter you use in your car. You can see that right now this inverter is being putting 62, 63 watts through an extension cord back into our house, which is supplementing uh, the power that we're using from the grid. So we're actually using 62 less watts. I have the solar panel hooked directly to it. The cabling on the solar panel is very short. Solar panels, this is a 12 volt solar panel system, so you don't want to have a really long wiring set up on the 12 volt configuration because you'll get too much resistance. Higher voltage travels a lot better. So I am running a 100 foot extension cord into our office and I'm going to show you really quickly this kilowatt meter here is coming directly um, from the grid tied inverter. I have another kilowatt meter inside that's this is the other end of that 100 foot extension cord. You can see that it actually is 63 watts here as well so we're really not losing anything with that 100 foot cord. going to do is pull this meter over closer to our panel. I'm going to put it right next to it so we can see both at the same time. So watts being uh, put in. So what I'm going to do is take my hand and cover up one cell like that briefly. You're going to notice that it dropped to zero just from that one cell covered up. Now it's building back up again slowly. I'm going to cover it again. Covering a cell up really wrecks the voltage that these output. So that's one thing to keep in mind. If you have this cell configuration, you don't want any trees in front of them. You want them totally uh, wide open and you want to keep them clean. You want to keep leaves off of them. The amorphous cells are not that big of a deal with that. They can actually um, handle having dirt on them being covered. Over here I have the amorphous cell. This is a different type of cell. You can cover part of these up. You can basically have them the sunlight obscured by trees to where only part of the cells are lit and these don't experience the same voltage drops as significantly as this type of panel does. Do the fan test real quick. This this is about a 50 watt fan. Now keep in mind these are in the shade so it's not we're not running a full So that's not at full power right now, but the fact that those panels are obscured by the trees means that they're actually doing something even though they're uh, covered up. These are more efficient per square meter, um, but you know, it's up to you as far as that goes. The wiring configurations for this type of panel setup are, this one goes from the bus wire to the top of the first cell. The second cell goes from the top of, of that cell to the back of the first cell. Third cell, top to the back of the second cell, and so on all the way up. This is putting them in series. They come up, connect to the bus wire. The bus wire comes around, basically makes a long chain all the way back up and around, so all 36 cells are in a straight line. And this is what builds your voltage up. These solar panels right here have actually had a quite a price drop lately. This solar panel is an 80 watt panel. It's a 12 volt panel, produces 21 volts open. So it'll actually uh, run a pure sine inverter like this that is grid tied directly. And uh, this costs about $250 for this panel. Completely sealed, everything's on it. I'm your host, Dan Rojas. Thank you for watching and enjoy our videos.